Hello, I am Chris, and this is Chris Creates the World. Thanks for tuning in today. Today, we are going on one of Salt Lake's best hikes, Grandeur Peak. I am a Utah native, and since I am moving soon, I wanted to do one of the best things you can do in Salt Lake, which is go on a hike at Grandeur Peak. So I brought a couple other Utah natives with me. Hey. Colby and Natalie here. And so we're gonna go on this hike, give you our recommendations, give you all the trail info, and also share a few little tips about Salt Lake City and what you can do in your stay here. Now, the hike to Grandeur Peak is just under six miles, according to all trails, and has 2,300-ish feet of elevation gain. I think it's 2,360-ish. So it's pretty steep, pretty rough. It is rated as hard, but it is doable if you go and just take your time. It's a really popular trail here. You go up Mill Creek Canyon, you find it's there on the left. You walk past a bunch of beautiful waterfalls on your way up, especially if you go in May or early June. This year, there's a ton of snowfalls. The river's flowing heavy. But we're gonna get back on the trail and show you a little bit more. Really grand. But all right, quick check in. We're about an hour, 13 minutes in, and uh, it definitely has a lot of elevation gain. So be prepared. Uh, we knew that coming in. The good news is, with that elevation gain, look at these views. It's amazing. Gang's doing good. Getting close-ish, but it's definitely exposed. Bring a hat, wear sunscreen, and just don't stop. Keep pushing. Vibe check. How are we all doing? Doing good. Hanging in there. Worth it so far? Yeah, yeah absolutely. And then you'll get up to like the saddle area where it kind of levels off for a little bit and you'll have some beautiful views over into Salt Lake City that you can look out at. See the University of Utah campus, the Great Salt Lake, Antelope Island. It's really beautiful. But then there's the final ascent to Grand Peak. And after one hour and 45 minutes of moving time, we reached the peak up here. Definitely strenuous, but difficult. You can see the red in my face, but you have this beautiful, beautiful view of the Salt Lake Valley in front. And you can see back to the Wasatch back behind. Beautiful views of Immigration Canyon and all that stuff. So definitely worth the trip up. Super pretty. You can stay up here. There's a bunch of different views. You can see 360 kind of all around you. You can see over to Mount Olympus. In May and early June is a fantastic time to do this hike, but it's good all year round. You can see kind of anything, except obviously in the winter months it gets a bit snowy but up here you'll see little lizards running along and everything there are snakes at times last time we we're here we did see a snake a little bit off the trail as well as um there's a guy up here like cooking his lunch so you can come and hang out right now there are a bit of flies so come prepared with some bug repellent if you can but a lot of people in Salt Lake that I talk to that go hiking really love Grandeur Peak and think it's one of their favorites. It's and Mill Creek it is super beautiful and one of the lesser developed canyons here on the Wasatch Front. So it's really pretty to wander through. Another hike that a lot of people recommend is Lake Blanche. So if you're coming to Utah and you have a couple days here or you're starting to get into hiking here and you live here, these are some of the two bigger day hikes that you can do. So they are rated as hard or strenuous and that is for a reason. Have a lot of vertical gain, but don't let that scare you. You know, take your time. You can get out here and you can achieve it, you can accomplish it. I have a video for that one here. I'll put it up here at the end for you. So stay and click on that if you wanna see all about Lake Blanche. But on the way down, I'm gonna have Colby and Natalie tell you a little bit about some of the other things that you can do in Salt Lake and their favorite hikes. All right, so moving down the trail, we're moving at a much quicker pace than up, as always seems to happen. But we're back here down below the tree line. It's beautiful, so I wanted to get these guys' opinion on some other good activities to do in Salt Lake for you. And so we got a few recommendations here. Once again, Colby and Natalie. So what are you guys' favorite things to do or places to eat in Utah that you'd recommend if someone was here for a couple days? Well, I love hiking. All I can think about is food right now. I think that Crown Burger makes amazing burgers and Navajo Hogan makes amazing Navajo tacos. And one of the best is Lucky 13. Burgers. Amazing burger. Or if you're up north, Burley Burger. Yeah. And they brand a lumberjack on the top of the bun, which is really cool. There you go. <laughs> so there's a few little food stops for you to, as well to throw onto your list. So make sure you add those and I'll link them down below in the description as well for you. 
as well as all of my hiking and camping gear that I got down there, so make sure you check that on out as well. I'm gonna keep moving on down the trail and finish off here for you. All right, so made it back down. It is about six miles round trip. All trails is pretty accurate. We made it in just under three hours. It is pretty doable. We went at a moderate pace. We did take a couple breaks, some photo stops and whatnot. But Grandeur Peak is a local favorite. I definitely recommend it. And like I said, Lake Blanche is another one I recommend. I'll put that video up in here at the end. I want to thank my lovely friends for coming along today. <laughs> sharing the recommendations. Make sure you go check out some of those burger places. Try some fry sauce. That's a very Utah thing. They'll have a crown burger and some of the other ones. Hope you enjoyed this video. And when you come to Salt Lake, I hope you go out and enjoy some of the beautiful hikes and mountains because that is one of the best things that we have to offer here. So if you want some other content, I do have some additional Utah stuff as well, like paddle boarding locations, a whole playlist about where to paddle board. Put that up in here at the end. So if you enjoy your travels here going forward, we're gonna have a lot more European content coming up because I am moving to Germany. So if you'd like to see any more hiking and travel stuff from Europe make sure to click that little subscribe button come hang out support the channel we'll have a lot of fun and Kobe and Natalie have a message for you go, go create, create the, the world, world. My butt still hurts from last night <laughs>